So today's video, I want to talk about Cam Instructor's big event. So this is the big conference we've got planned coming up uh, in February. Now I know most of you who watch these videos, you're not really interested in watching a promo video. You want to see some sort of tip in Mash Cam. So I promise you at the end of this little spiel I've got about the big event, I'm going to give you a Master Cam tip. Uh, you may find extremely useful and you may not even know about it. So stick through this little information section and I promise you a relevant Master Cam tip at the end. Cam Instructor's big event is a virtual conference focusing on CAM, CNC, and specifically on MasterCAM. This will be held on February 4th, 2021. Before this conference, we have several presenters lined up. You will be given the opportunity to watch their presentations and then ask questions to them after the presentation is complete. Now we have nine presentations lined up covering many aspects of MasterCAM's use from basics, you know, mil 2D up to complex mil 5X from industrial to education and everything in between. Dwayne and Sheila Weidinger will be taking part. Sean Bellamere of CADCAM Consulting Services Incorporated. Ron Branch of Fifth Axis CG Incorporated. David Costello of Daytona State College. Jason Hill of Rowan Cabarrus Community College. Clinton Smith from CNC Software. Dave Thompson from Postability. Jesse Trink from CNC Software and Mike Warren of Cam Instructor. So these are the presentations you can look forward to at the big event brought to you by Cam Instructor. Again, taking place on February 4th, 2021. For more information, you can visit the link here, info.caminstructor.com forward slash the big event. There will be links that you can click on in the description of this video. Be sure to sign up early as space is limited and you don't want to miss out on this completely free big event brought to you by Cam Instructor. Now, as promised, on to this very quick Mastercam tip. Now, I have to, you know, preface this with some credit, and uh, I did not figure this out on my own, nor did I find this in literature anywhere. I came across this in a forum, and I'll give credit to Chally72 and Steel Lab. These two users are the one that brought this up in a thread, and it's talking about the use of dynamic, dynamic transforms, and flipping between part manipulation and gnomon manipulation. Common use case here for dynamic is you've brought in a device, you want to align it up to your, your parts, and you hop into dynamic, select stuff that you want to uh, move around, and what you need to do first is place your gnomon. So let me just snap it here to the middle of this part. And once you've initially placed that gnomon, you can now swap between moving geometry, or we can click this, and now I can move the gnomon. So perhaps you've placed this you know, incorrectly at first, or perhaps you want to adjust your pivot point or translation point. So this is very common when you're moving things around to flip flop between the two. So normal behavior is you come in here and, and you, you click this to toggle between the states. Here's the tip. Uh, this is dead simple and super, super efficient. If you want to switch between part and nomen manipulation, instead of clicking this button, all you have to do is press the control key. Press control and it will toggle between nomen and part. So again, something dead simple, but super, super efficient if you find yourself using dynamic a lot.